Hey, Mike McGrordy here from uh, FreePlants.com and Mike's Backyard Nursery.com. Today I want to talk about spider mites. Spider mites are a little tiny. They're, they're not. They're not really in the insect family. They're more in the in the uh, spider family, and they attack a lot of different landscape plants. But they are so tiny. If you if you see them, they've only got four sets of legs, and um, but but they're really really tiny so you don't see them on the plant so they're like an invisible pest that just secretly moves in and starts munching away on your plants and you you it's really hard to see to see them and it's also hard to notice the damage that they're doing if you're not paying close attention they ta attack there's, there's a number of different kinds but there's basically there's two common common times there's one that will attack something like burning bush then there's a spruce mite that attacks conifers like um, blue spruce and pines and junipers and probably arborvitaes, boxwoods, things. There's actually a different one that attacks boxwoods, but the bottom line is they're spider mites. They can all be controlled basically the same way. They all pretty much operate in the same way. But there's two plants in the landscape that really get attacked by these things a lot. One of them is burning bush. They love burning bush and they also love dwarf Alberta spruce. And with a with a dwarf Alberta spruce, the damage is very very slow to show up. But if you if you have a dwarf dwarf Alberta spruce in your landscape, and then all of a sudden it starts turning yellowish and losing its color and getting thin, there's a very good chance that it's been infested with spider mites. Burning bush, what a spider mite does is they they attack they get on the leaf of the plant. A lot of times they will they lay eggs here, the eggs hatch, then they they also uh, they feed off of the plant and the way they feed off of the plant is on some of these leaves you'll see some chewing on the edges that's not spider mites that's a different pest a spider mite is so tiny and they've got the mouthpiece that is actually designed to attach itself to the leaf so they they pierce the leaf and then they suck the nutrients out of the plant and it causes a little tiny yellow speck on a leaf like this if you've got hundreds and hundreds or thousands and thousands of them which is pretty much how they multiply in the numbers you end up with you get so many of these little tiny specks that the plant the leaf gets very unhealthy and will will literally fall the plant will completely defoliate way too early in the season they they normally don't kill a plant like burning bush but they they just make it so it's not that attractive and it doesn't perform the way it's supposed to perform dwarf alberta spruce or evergreens they can literally because the evergreen doesn't make all new leaves every year they can do a lot of damage there so one of the things that you'll notice is little tiny specks on the leaf that that'll give you a heads up that maybe something's wrong little tiny yellow specks where they, they've attached themselves sucked out the nutrients moved to another spot sucked out the nutrients and pretty soon if like i said if they do that a lot um, they're they're literally going to destroy that leaf and basically they'll take one whole side of a plant or a whole plant so one, I'm a, first of all, I'm going to show you. I'm going to we're going to take a little break, and I'm going to show you when I come back. I'm going to show you how to identify and see if you have spider mites. I'll be right back. Okay, now to identify spider mites, what you're going to do is just take a white piece of paper like this, hold it underneath your plant, and then you're going to sharply wrap the leaves. And basically, what you're doing is you're knocking the spider mites off of the plant, and then we're going to come up here with the our paper and you're going to have little tiny specks on there that look like dust and you're going to look at it with a magnifying glass and you're going to look for something anything that's crawling moving very slowly on the paper and I'm never going to be able to show you on this video but I've got We've got probably two or three on here, which means that there are some on this plant, but it's not a heavy infestation. It's not a lot to worry about. But basically, that's all you're going to do is smack that plant, get dust and debris to fall down here, and then with a magnifying glass, study it and look for anything that's crawling around. Because if you have something tiny crawling around, more than likely it's a spider mite. Now, there are a variety of different ways to control spider mites. Spider mites like it where it's hot and dry. So if this plant were on, like on a on the uh, the south side of a house, it would be extremely hot and dry. 
spider mites love that. They absolutely love that kind of environment. So one way, but they don't like it where it's cool and damp and wet. So one way to control them is actually just to take a garden hose and just kind of blast the plant and you literally can wash them off of the plant. And if you do that periodically through the growing season, you'll be fairly successful at controlling the spider mites. The other thing that you can use is use an insecticidal soap. Um, dormant oils work, but if you, um, you but uh, it's a dormant oil, so it's got to be sprayed. There's horticultural oils that you can use during the growing season, dormant oil during the, the winter season. But the water blast or an insecticidal soap rinse works pretty good. If you've got a really heavy infestation, then you're probably going to have to treat with some kind of an insecticide. But you've got to make sure that that insecticide contains a miticide because these things are not affected by um, regular insecticides. They're kind of immune to that, so you have to have a miticide. But you, they are also controlled naturally with natural predators like ladybugs and things like that. So if you don't want to spray an insecticide and, and kill any natural predators, so unless your infestation is really heavy, the ideal thing to do is to do the water blast. And if you have, you know, if you want to use an insecticidal soap, that'll work. But anyway, the most important thing is to be able to identify the pest, and, and you know, that's why on some of these leaves, and I'll try and show you, some of these leaves are, are blotchy. Um, they're starting to turn, but that blotchiness is probably caused by the part of the leaf that is stressed because of that spider mite damage. But anyway. I hope that helps, and get yourself a magnifying glass and a piece of paper and take a tour of your yard. I'm Mike McGrody from Mike's Backyard Nursery.com.